people will probably hate Villain Saga Season 2. Okay, wait, I know what you were thinking. How could Villain Saga, one of the best animes of 2019, possibly get a second season that will perform poorly than its previous? The ending to Season 1 of Villain Saga was only the tip of the iceberg. Thorfinn's journey is just beginning. You are crazy to think that this action-packed Vikings anime continuation is going to disappoint. Okay, well, let's talk about the reason why I think people will possibly be disappointed with Villain Saga Season 2. Oh, and before we begin, don't worry, this video will not contain any spoilers. First, let's clear the room. Do I think Villain Saga Season 2 will disappoint? No. In fact, I think it's actually going to be even better than Season 1. However, the community might think otherwise. One of the first reasons why I think people will not necessarily like the second season of Villain Saga is because of its pacing. Season 1 of Villain Saga was filled with tons of fights and suspenseful moments that left the community wanting more. To be honest with you, you can even say that the entirety of Villain Saga was just pure shonen, even though the manga is considered a seinen. Which it is, however, anime only have only seen the prologue to the show and the title Villain Saga, the keyword being Villain, has only been dropped a couple of times. As we know from the likes of Thor's and Leif Erikson, Vinland is a place where people can start anew, a place without worry of war. The term Vinland is a destination which we have not witnessed yet. Everything that you have witnessed in Villain Saga so far has just been the beginning of Thorfinn's journey, which now leads into my next point. Thorfinn as a character in Villain Saga was pretty one-dimensional for the most part. Other characters like Thor's, Askeladd, and Canute were more fully developed than Thorfinn's character, even though he is the main character of the series, and this is done purposely. All Thorfinn wanted was to avenge his father's death and get revenge on Askeladd. This drew Thorfinn to not care about anything else in his life, but to only act on the sake of vengeance. Now, what happens at the conclusion to Vinland Saga Season 1? Well, Askeladd dies by the hands of Canute, stealing the one thing that meant so much to Thorfinn to simply kill him by his own hands, something he dedicated his entire life to to was finally taken away from him. With his purpose in life taken away from him, where does Thorfinn go from here? It's something that Askeladd exposed on Thorfinn's character. What will he do from his life now going forward? This is the beginning of Villain Saga and Thorfinn's evolution to who he will become in the future. While there is no current information for anime onlys as to where the series will go from here, we are only left with an image in the announcement trailer for Season 2 of Villain Saga. This image right here of Thorfinn symbolizes where Thorfinn's journey goes from here. Simply put by the image, it showcases Thorfinn dropping the sword. This is in parallel to how his father Thor's dropped the sword when he decided that killing was enough. Even the ending to the first season foreshadowed where the story moves from here. In turn, this is why I think many people will be a little annoyed when it comes to the future of Villain Saga's story. If Thorfinn drops the sword, then this will probably leave you to believe that the story won't have as many fights moving forward. Which, let's be honest, it's something that the anime community loves to see amongst anime, and when it comes to fleshing out a story of characters just talking or something along the lines of that, some might consider it boring or the story is moving at a snail's pace and they just want to get to the good stuff. And in turn, this could possibly lead to some dropping the series entirely. This is one of the reasons why some people don't give some anime a chance. <clears throat> Gintama. You might have heard the term for the next arc of Villain Saga being considered among the following of Villain Saga manga readers as Farmland Saga, which literally takes place on a farm. Even so, the arc has to be one of my favorite arcs within the entire series just because of the character development that Thorfinn gets within this arc but that is all I will say based on that. Now, the final reason why some may be a little disappointed for a continuation of Villain Saga is the possible change of production. It has been rumored that the production of Season 2 will not be made by Wit Studio, who has previously worked on Villain Saga, but will actually be made by the hands of Studio Mappa as a legitimate outcome rather than the memes you see all over social media of how Mappa is adapting every single anime known to man. As of November 2021, Wit Studio has over 130 employees, but only just a year ago, they had less than 35 employees, while Studio Mappa, on the other hand, at the time, had around 250 employees, and as of April of 2022, they now have at least over 320. This shows good reason as to why there are so many anime being animated by Studio Mappa nowadays, so if the rumors are true, artistically, 
Villain Saga will probably appear very different compared to Villain Saga Season 1. It's also worth mentioning that since the release of Villain Saga Season 1, some key staff members have left with studio who previously worked on the project. However, the director Shuhei Yabuta and character designer Takahiko Abiru both announced to reprise their roles for Season 2, which recently worked with MAPPA on Attack on Titan in the final season. So we will see where the series will go from this point forward. Regardless from what we have been receiving from MAPPA Studios as of late, they haven't disappointed me at all in terms of what they have been producing. Villain Saga Season 2 will take a dramatic change compared to Season 1, and it's going to be really interesting what the community will think of the coming season moving forward once it releases. If you are going in with the expectations of Villain Saga Season 2 being within the same vein as Season 1, you will be very disappointed. So have an open mind in the coming future to when Villain Saga Season 2 releases, and let me know what you all thought about this discussion in the comments down below. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video, as it always helps out the channel, and if you would like to see future videos from me, please subscribe to the channel. With that said everyone, I hope to see you all in the next video, thanks for watching.